This Dell computer, when you turn it on, you'll hear a lot of loud beeps. And I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. You gotta take your computer apart. I'm gonna start out by taking a battery out. Okay. Now you got these screws on the bottom here. You got all these little screws here. You take these screws out. And you're gonna take your CD ROM drive out. Once we get this all the screws off, we'll go to the next step. So here's your next step. You'll see this little tab up here. There's one in the middle, and there's one over here. And you're going to do is get a small flat tip screwdriver. And you're going to press this tab in. Well, with the second hand, let's see what I can do. With the second hand, you're going to do this. You just get your, get something underneath it, a key, fingernail, whatever. Just pull up gently. And lift that one corner up. I got this one corner lifted up. And we'll do the same with the uh the middle and one on the far left. Now you get your keyboard like that. Slide it out. This here, it lifts up like that. Gently pull it out. And let's see here. Your next thing is going to be this guy here you got this little brown piece around it you're going to pull that up around the, that and then you gently pull the cable up then you go over to your corner and pop it up and what you're going to do is you're going to off sides should be able to pop up oh, I forgot there's this one over here for your power button do the same thing for it you got the Lift up in the connector a little bit. Pull the wire out. You might have another cable somewhere. Yep, this guy right here. There's for your speakers. Okay. So, the object to get this beeping noise done is you're going to have to take your hard drive out, CD-ROM out, anything that's attached to this motherboard and then you're going to be able to get this motherboard out. You want to take your, your RAM sticks out, you want to take this guy out. Uh, we're going to have this heat sink off and believe it or not, and you're going to have this button this battery out. Believe it or not, what you're going to do is you're going to stick this in the oven. The reason for being is there's a chip on this board here. I'm not sure if it's this chip here or if it's this chip there. And it's called a Southbridge chip. And what happened is they have a process called BGA. Ball Grid Array. And they use the solder which is it's a little balls and it sometimes gets overheated and it'll just not make a good contact well then that makes your computer not work right so we're going to continue on um, just <laughs> that was simple enough right just push on your hard drive and 
think in the city rom I could be wrong. Probably am. There's this one screw right here. You take him out and the city rom will lift out. Or it'll push forward. In your memory. You're just taking Face lift up, pull them out. Just unhook the black cable from there. And you, you take that off. Um, you got screws here. Start with one, two, three, and four. This will come out. I'm going to take your this connector here off. That's for your video. This is for your fan for your computer. Once you get this out, you might have another couple of screws back here. I'm not sure at the moment. Looks like there's just this here holding it. The uh, fan down. Could be some more somewhere. We'll get to that in a minute. I want to add that you're going to have to take your processor out as well. <coughs> and what you're going to do is just get this slide up here and you're just going to use a flat tip screwdriver. Turn it counterclockwise and you just lift this up. And you want to make sure when you put it back down, this gold corner here goes in the corner over there. Just like that. Little numbers. Goes in the corner like that. Now you want to make sure you don't have like the big plastic on the back. If you do, take that off. Anything that could melt in what I'm going to show you, you want to take it off. Um, I wouldn't worry about something like this. If you get a board that looks just like that, leave it. I wouldn't worry about this too much. If you want to, you can take it off. It's not a big deal. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it on this because if it, it shouldn't bother that. All right, on to the next step. Oh, you might want to take this guy off here. That's what I would do. Just don't forget you got a pad that you put back on there. So on to the next step. Okay, here's the next step. You're going to preheat it, your oven. You want to have your fan going, your exhaust fan. It's going to create some fumes, so I'm just going to put it on low. You're going to preheat it, and then you're going to bake it at 385 for 10 minutes. And this is where I got it at. And you're going to put the processor side up. So for 10 minutes, this thing is going to be cooking. And it's going to have a little bit of fume because of the boards and all that. But it's going to take care of your problem. The next clip, you'll see that it's in the computer. You want to make sure that you're going to allow this to cool down and look, put it in your computer and you'll see that it'll work. Now that your 10 minutes is up, I'm going to repeat to you several times, do not touch the motherboard. Let it cool. It just came out of the oven. It's going to be hot. Don't move anything. Don't do anything. Let it cool down for at least 20 minutes, half hour. Just like you was eating a pizza. Okay? To so let it cool. You can watch the little aluminum foil move and all that stuff. So, let it cool. Now, if you followed everything correctly and you got all your stuff put back in right,
Hey, what do you know? Starting windows. Now, all you did was reheat your stuff, your motherboard, and you fix your own stuff by baking it in the oven. So, if you got this far, chances are you're going to be okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.